Hello, welcome to the motherfucking dope show with Dopey. Anyways, how the fuck they go now? I'm uh, pretty happy right now. I uh, I got my webcam working. Um, it's not brand new, and I just had a fucking my hard drive install a new one. Um, so <coughs> cat hair. Anyways, I thought I'd say something. Um, what, what else was it? Oh, yeah, anyways, welcome to the Dope Show with Dopey, man. It's been, like, fucking two months. I made a video, like, a week ago, and I was like, it's been, like, a month since I made a video. Found out it's been, like, two motherfucking months since I made a video. So, I, uh... This one, man, I'm gonna straight up talk about movies. I gotta say something. I got to, um... Oh, I, I, I got in this conversation with a buddy of mine, Stickle, Sleepy, and I'm a movie critic. I don't have too many movies. Like, I just moved into my house. I got some movie posters. I thought I'd show some movie posters that I got hanging up. I got 40 movie posters, and I got 50 blacklight posters in my room. I'm hoping to get a video camera here so you can see me. But if you see my earlier videos, I had my camera in my bedroom, my computer set up there, and I have a quite... Uh, a few black lights. Anyways, this is my living room. I'm just now kind of moving into it. I'm um, getting stuff set up here. While I, I can't really do much with the fucking webcam. And, uh, you know, this is what I got going so far. There's my DVDs, and I don't have all my movies set up. Movie posters, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I got that going on over there. My clown mask over there. Uh, my living room door that I'm covering. It's glass. I'm covering them, that up with uh, tattoo pictures. I still got all that area to cover with posters. I'll let you know once that's done. And, uh, I got my one Che Guevara wall poster, which I'm going to take down from there. I did have a Fight Club poster next to it. I'm going to put that in one more wall. But anyways, I'm going to do this with, uh, wall on this angle. So you can see the posters that I do have. Uh, so, I, I, I like to consider myself to be a movie critic. You know, I do go in theaters. There are a lot of motherfucking movies that are being made these days, a lot. And I try to see as many as possible. I go to the movies quite a bit. Um, I go to the movies quite a bit. And uh, I got some movies, you know. But this is about remakes anyways. Like, I just watched this video on this dude just totally dissing Rob Zombie. Just pretty much just dissing Rob Zombie. It's like a half hour video about how he destroyed the Halloween franchise. Which is cool, you know. Because I don't believe he destroyed it. I believe he destroyed the second one. Straight up. That's my opinion. I said Halloween 2 is worse than Halloween 3. But I mean the franchise is already destroyed with Halloween 3. So I mean there you go. It's Halloween 3. Michael Myers wasn't even in Halloween 3. Halloween 4 takes off where Halloween 2 left off. So it's just like, why made why they even made Halloween three? It's ridiculous. So they screw the franchise to begin with. And um, but I can't even remember. It was just like, man, I wish I, I was in my bedroom watching it. I, I watched the internet on my net, not on my Netflix, but on my Xbox. And this kid just went on a half hour. It just to me, it just seems like he just hates Rob Zombie. That's about it. To me, honestly, what got me to that video, I was just watching. It started off with Mushroom Head, the Mushroom Head versus Slipknot. Then I seen something like Rob Zombie, this is Marilyn Manson. This is going to be a long video because I have a lot of shit to say. And uh, Marilyn Manson. And I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. And I guess this is this was like nine months ago. I'm always behind on current events. I have no cable whatsoever. I don't really like it that much. I don't like TV. I like to just uh, watch what I like to watch. And they have pretty much all that on Netflix. Uh, American Dad, Family Guy, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and, you know, that keeps me entertained. Sons of Anarchy, Walking Dead. And then whatever movies that I got and whatever movies that I will get, I got to let my cat out real quick. 
But we were talking about how remakes are, why, what, what's the deal with remakes, how they're fucking destroying the originals and shit like that. I'm gonna say the movies that I do believe are better, some of them are better than the original. There are some that I don't think that should have been fucked with. Like, uh, the only one right now, I'm, I jump all over the place, man, all the time. I don't think they should remake Hellraiser. That's the only movie I don't think they should remake. Um, the new Evil Dead remake is my favorite remake of all time. Straight up. Right now it is. I love, when, I've seen the new Evil Dead three times in theaters. When, when I love a movie so much, I go see it three times in theaters. I saw Devil's Rejects three times, The Thing prequel. Uh, fuck, man, that's the last time I can remember it. Here, I, get, I even got some, I'm missing one of the tickets. There's, there's, there's some of my movie theater tickets. I don't think you can see it. But, uh, there's two of there that you can see for sure is the thing. And, uh, I try to keep my ticket stuff because, you know, especially when I love a movie. I went and saw Devil's Rejects, man. It was in Theater 6. It was so cool. I had Devil's Rejects 666 because I had three tickets. That was fun. But I just, this kid got on my nerves because he just bashed Rob Zombie. I believe Rob Zombie's a motherfucking sellout. And I feel I can say that because in the 90s, I... White Zombie still is probably one of my favorite bands of all time, and uh, I loved Rob Zombie. When Educated Horse came out, I hated them. I did not like Educated Horses. In fact, I'm probably going to... I was just even thinking about doing that. I was thinking about listening to Educated Horses, and uh, I listened to it once, and I didn't like it. You know, So I was thinking about re-listening to it, get my opinion on it, and then... Uh, and then Hellbilly Deluxe too, but the sick bubblegum music video, I'm like Zombie, how dare you? It's blasphemy. The new Rob Zombie is just blasphemy. Really, it is. Um, let's see what else. Anyways, they're talk. Uh, a friend of mine was talking about the, the 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 new Evil Dead and how it wasn't as epic as people were making it sa seem to be. And then his girlfriend said something on Facebook, and I was just like. I, I knew that wasn't even her saying it. I was just like, that's Stickles words coming out of your mouth. You know? And for me, a lot of people are against remakes and stuff like that, but I'm all for them. And I thought the re one of the reasons why is like, usually 20 years later, you know, there's just like this whole different environment, whole different times. Like, how would that movie be now, today? You know, I, I would like to see an update. Like, you know, the thing. The thing prequel was fucking brutal. I even got this thing on here on my YouTube account. Like, you go look at there. I, I, I should probably put on put on dope show, but it was like there's this guy who posted up lame '80s remakes, and he was just saying like they remade the thing. Well, technically it's a prequel. I'm like they didn't remake it. It was a prequel. You know. I'm like, which is cool because they didn't fuck with the original. Which I still love the original, but I think they should remake that one. I honestly do. And I have The Thing, uh, VHS, and DVD. I don't have anything posters, but that would be man. I love The Thing so much. I hate my tattoos on my right arm. Because after uh, some time, I've seen some awesome artwork from The Thing. Uh, some bands that, that, that I enjoy. And I was like, oh, man. I would have my entire right arm just dedicated to the thing. I would. And, uh, let's see. Evil Dead. The new Evil Dead. The only scene that I was disappointed in. The only scene that I didn't think that uh, held up to the original Evil Dead was the tree rape scene. The tree rape scene and the first one, so fucking brutal. It's just like, out of nowhere, branch and vagina. You know what I mean? Whoosh! Just like that. And it was like, oh, epic. And you know that it, it had to hurt. This one was slow, and they dragged it out. It was still good, man. But everything in this movie, the graphics were great. It was probably one of the best graphics i ever seen in a horror movie ever. The syringe scene, I mean, it's just epic. It is. I don't give a fuck. And I think it's better than the original. I mean, you can't fuck with Bruce Campbell. I mean, he's, he's a god and, and just from the Evil Deads and Army of Darkness, which I have an Army of Darkness poster. I got the Evil Dead uh, movies and uh, 
You know, I if when I'm a fan, I try to get like like I have the Big Lebowski here poster, wall poster right there, and then I got this Big Lebowski bowling ball DVD cassette case. I try to get the movie, the poster, soundtrack, and T-shirt. You know, that's usually what I try to do. Which I should have been wearing uh, a movie T-shirt, like a Big Lebowski T-shirt or something. But uh, anyways, I'm trying to get back to the remake idea. Like, without the remakes, we wouldn't have today's Dawn of the Dead. And the, the, the 2006 version, I think it is, I just watched it today. I was just thinking, man, without remakes, we wouldn't have that movie. And the new Dawn of the Dead is excellent. It's fucking awesome. And it's nothing like the original. I love it when they do that to movies. When they, when they remake a movie, and it's nothing like the original, it's just kind of like it. But it's not the exact same fucking storyline to where you know what's going to happen next. You know I mean? They make a lot of remakes that are like that. Like, Hills Have Eyes is almost dead on. The remake's better. The, the, the only difference is that there's a whole town scene, and the whole town scene isn't in the original. But I love the, the remake of Hills Have Eyes. I love the original Hills Have Eyes. I love the part two of Hills Have Eyes. I love the Hills Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes is fucking brutal. Brutal. Epic. And astonishing, amazing. And I like the... I didn't like the part two sequel remake. It was alright, but, I mean, they hyped it up. They fucking hyped it up. They said it was more frightening than the original. You know, and the original was just, like, mind-blowing and just godly. It just had more rape scenes in it. You know, I'm like, rape's not horrifying, really. You know, I spit on your grave. Come on. You know, and and I haven't seen the new I Spit on Your Grave, but I heard it's epic. And, and I want to see it. I didn't even know they remade it. A buddy of mine, like, a few months ago told me, it's like, yeah, dude, the new Spit on Your Grave is, like, so fucking epic. I didn't even see previews for it. I don't know if it's a beef flick remake or something. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. But, uh... I'm going to talk about so many fucking movies, man. Anyways, the new Dawn of the Dead is probably one of the best remakes of all time. The original is good. It's good. It's not great, man. I think, you know, old school 70 movies are alright and pretty good. But I didn't really care too much for the original. You know? I like I like how that there are zombies in them. And I don't like those zombies, man. Let's just get straight to the facts. I don't like those zombies. The zombies I like are the 28 Day Later zombies. When I was a kid, I loved, I watched Return of the Living Dead like crazy, man. You know, and, and you always see the Return of the Living Dead zombies. But, I mean, they, they even ran, too. But, I mean, the rabbit human being zombies are the best zombies. They are. Like the 28 Day Later zombies. The zombies in fucking the new Dawn of the Dead. Or epic, the Day of the Dead. If you remake any George A. Romero flick, it's epic. And I was just thinking, you know, like the most movies that I want to see remade. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That I was upset with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, remakes. But when I went and saw them in theaters, I loved them. I loved them all. Besides the newest one, that just the one that's called Texas Chainsaw, and it's just about Leatherface. I was like, yeah. Where they made him Jed Sawyer. Like, they already made a Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And I own it. You know. And that's pretty much what it is. They're taken off from the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The new Texas Chainsaw. And it was supposed to be in 3D. And I'm like, man, for a 3D Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they better have the scene in it. If they don't, then I'm fucking pissed is a chainsaw going through a body and the blood just coming at you and I'm like they have to have that but they didn't they they're like well they had the chainsaw going through the fucking uh the coffin that was cool the chainsaw coming at you but they, there should have been blood all over the crowd that would have been killer that's I'm like I need to be a director straight up I would remake awesome movies if I just sat down and write a movie I would love to make a movie for uh, Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal is my favorite video game, and I've seen so many movies that, that could that could 
to where you could do that, man, with cars and machine guns and missiles. And Sweet Tooth would be an epic, epic uh, character in a movie. And I would do the best job of a movie. I would, I, I just, I don't know, man. Maybe I need to get a typewriter and just start typing out scripts and stuff. Because I try watching movies, and, and when I watch them, like, how, that, that's what they do. This is the type of the scene that they have, and in between scenes and stuff like that. Right. The one movie that I want to see remade right now, the number one that I want to see remade, and I thought about it hard, is Return of the Living Dead. And I was just like, and th this is why I would like to see it remade, is because it was done in the 80s, right? You know what I mean? And the 80s is all cool and shit like that, but the 80s sucks, man. People want to see that type of horror movie in their today's timeline. You know, like, something that they can relate to. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, you want to be able to relate to the Michael Myers today. Because the world's much more fucking sadistic than it was back then. Even though the original Michael Myers is evil. But I could totally agree with Rob Zombie with some of the points, you know, it's like, he tried to make it, you know, like, when you watch a horror movie, you're like, come on, that's just ridiculous, you know, and this dude just, yeah, that's what started this thing, this guy just, bad. it's a half hour thing on, like, how Rob Zombie destroyed, uh, the Halloween franchise, he didn't destroy it, it was already destroyed with Halloween 3, gotcha, anyways, and, and the first Halloween is cool, man, but the best thing is, remakes are killer, dude. I love all remakes. I even got, uh, the new Nightmare on Elm Street, and I loved it. You know, I went and saw it in theaters. It was fucking brutal. The, my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street of all time is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. The first one's okay. I mean, that, that's the only, like, sequels that, that, that better the original ones. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 is cool. And they, they should have kept that Freddy Krueger on part three, man, you know, and from then on, they made it a comedy horror. It, it's like, I want to be scared, man. They need to make things horrifying and grotesque. And that's this new Freddy fucking Krueger, dude. The new Freddy, especially the guy who plays Warshack, I don't know his name, but he did an awesome fucking job as Freddy Krueger. And the storyline was great. I loved it. I loved it. And I loved it how they gave him his own original trademark. You know, like how the original Freddy just spreads out his claws and then claws down the thing. I love it. He just rubbed his two fingers together, you know, and then it made that sound that... That was cool. I loved how they did that because the original Freddy never did that. So they gave him his own thing, man. Ideas like that is great. The prequel to the thing was one of the best movies I've ever seen because it had everything in it that I wanted to know. It did. I've seen the thing oh, thousands of times on VHS alone. The first time I seen that movie, I was absolutely horrified and I loved it immediately. When the thing ripped its own head off its body, after one of the most epic scenes in cinematic history ever, you know. And that's what I think about remakes, too, man. It's like, a lot of them are hit and a miss. Like, Friday the 13th. You know, a lot of people talk shit. Like, like somebody that I know, they're like, I don't like how Jason ran in that movie. He never ran in any Friday the 13th. I'm like, have you watched the entire fucking franchise? He runs. There's one to where, I, can't, I think it's part three. In Halloween 3, he runs, man. You know what I mean? And he doesn't even get his hot. He doesn't even get his machete till like part four. Before that, he was an axe murderer. You know what I mean? I have them all. I don't have them all. I have most of them. I'm missing like three. And uh, he started out as an axe murderer, and I think it was like Paul or uh, Friday Thirteenth Part Four to where he got his machete. Tori to Tori to kept killing with the machete. He did kill somebody with machete. Put with ah, oh, god damn it. Anyways. I'm just trying to talk about this guy because he just like de dedicates a whole half hour bashing zombie, gone white trash. It's like you he just doesn't get that thing, man. He's not a metalhead. He never you can tell he never was. He dissed zombie, said he was a sellout. I'll say he's a sellout now. 
you know what I mean? But I mean, you know, when you make movies, dude, he's gonna do what he wants to do with them. And the only movie I don't like so far that he made is Halloween 2. I did like the the remake. It wasn't bad. I thought he, he was gruesome, man. Michael Myers was fucking gruesome. And that's what it's about, is Michael Myers being gruesome. You know, I didn't really care too much for... Oh, the, the one thing that I did want... I, I hate this guy. I hate... The dude who played Dr. Loomis was horrible. That That's the only thing that he slaughtered in that movie was Dr. Loomis. He destroyed Dr. Loomis. <coughs> Even though he talked shit about how he didn't really care too, too much for Dr. Loomis. I think Sid Haig should have been Dr. Loomis. Hands down. Sid Haig should have been Dr. Loomis. Captain fucking Spaulding should have been... been uh, been, been Dr. Loomis. I don't remember the fucking dude's name who plays Dr. Loomis, but he played Alex in uh, Clockwork Orange. He played that guy. You know, he played Alex in Clockwork Orange. And that's the only good fucking movie he's ever done that I've seen besides Tank Girl. And he, he's a horrible actor. Now, today, he's a horrible fucking actor. And he was horrible. He was even worse in part two. Part two, man, was just terrible. It really was. It was terrible. Because you're expecting it to go along the franchise line. Even if it did it, it was just like... When he made Dr. Loomis out to be like, Michael Myers is dead. I'm just like, shoot that fucking dude in the head right now. Because you got it. Dr. Loomis would, Donald Pleasance, come, ah, if you know what I mean, man, you know what I mean, because you gotta be like, Dr. Loomis, you're a fucking, it's Michael, he's the one dude who always tells everybody Michael Myers is dead, and everybody's like, drop it, Michael Myers is dead, he's like, Michael Myers is alive, I tell you, Sheriff, I shot him, I shot him six times, he's not human, I'm trying to do a, a Dr. Loomis impression. Michael! Michael! Anyways. And, uh... Yeah, man. I think they should keep doing remakes, because I think uh, an awesome remake would be Return of the Living Dead. And I think it would just be cool to see it in high definition, you know, on top of that. I would like to see a drone, and that some... It doesn't even have to be a complete remake of any of them. It could be like a sequel. You know what I mean? They find the drone, da -da 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 -da, type in the numbers, pops out the trioxin, that'd be just... It'd just be killer to see, you know, how, what they would do with it. And, I mean, how it relates today. Because those zombies couldn't die. They did kill them. And the first one with the nuclear weapon. And then, and the second one with electricity. And the third one... Third one, I, they didn't die. So... Third one's kind of weird. But anyways, man, I love the drone. And I love the trioxin. I would love to see it be remade. I love to see it in high definition, what it would look like today, how they would do it, what the what the slime corpse would look like that comes out of the drone. That would look so fucking cool. Um, but anyways, every 20 years, they're going to look back to 20 years ago. They'd be like, what movies did they make 20 years ago? Let's remake it. Like the Hulk, man. You know? I mean, even back then in the 70s, that they remade movies. That, 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 that was out in the 50s. And then, and then that's the thing, too, man. They, 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 there's movies that were out in the 50s that they remade that no one even bitches about. They're, they're constantly remaking movies. Mission Impossible, uh, Ocean's Eleven. Um, and Ocean's Eleven was like a 1950s movie. But anyways, like, everyone bashes on remakes. I love them. I wish they keep making more of them. Do them a justice. The Day of the Dead was epic remake. Any, if you remake any George A. Romero flick, it's going to be awesome. But I'm guaranteeing you, 20 years from now, they're going to remake House of a Thousand Corpses. They're going to. It's, it's a horror film. They're going to remake it. If not 30 years from now. And it's been like 30 years since the original Halloween was made. 30 years from, like, a, a franchise movie or any movie that has been made, they're going to remake. Like, probably, like, 30 years from now, they're going to remake a screen in that day's timing. You know what I mean? 
and, and a related in a relating thing of the time because I mean things upgrade like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre well it's still based around the 1970s in that movie but I mean people can relate more to, to the new one than to the old one you know <clears throat> plus the, the one thing that the beef that I have with the new one the very first remake they didn't have the, the the family dinner scene I was pissed off about that they had that in like every single one besides part three and um, and they didn't put a chick on the fucking meat hook. It's always been a chick on the meat hook. In every remake, it's been a dude. I'm like, is this the sexist world we're living in now? Seriously, put the fucking chick on the meat hook. That's all you gotta do. Put the chick on the meat hook. It's more gruesome. The dude, blah. Nobody cares to see a guy. Man, the, chi the first chick that went on that meat hook, she did an awesome fucking job in acting that. But any zomp, they're going to remake 28 days later from now, 20 years from now. But that, that's my point, man. You know, eventually they're going to just remake every single movie that, that has ever been done. That, 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 that at least made some money in the box office. And when they do, I'm going to be there to see it. <laughs> Dark Shadows. Come on. They, they, it was a TV show in the 70s. And, and they made it into a movie. And it was a great fucking movie. Uh, Fright Night. The remake of Fright Night was awesome. I enjoyed it. And I liked the cameo thing that they did in there, too. That was cool. When they had the original Jerry. And, uh, you know, I mean, anyways... The Fright Night is an excellent example of a remake. The remake back then, or the original Fright Night... God, why didn't that come to my mind? The original Fright Night is, like, based in the 80s, right? And blah, blah, blah. No cell phones. None of that shit. No computers. I mean, it's just like, what would that movie be like in today's situations? And they nailed it perfectly. They, they put their computers in there. Bam. They're recording on them's camera. No reflection or whatever. <coughs> no image. I mean, epic. Good you know, and that's what I want to see. I want to see how it relates to today's situation. That'd be cool, and that's what they did, too. They made Texas Chainsaw in, like, a today's situation. You know, which is cool. But, and actually, that was actually kind of cool that I did like it in Texas Chainsaw is how they made Leatherface really limpy. Because they made it from, like, the first one when he fell and chainsawed his leg. Which is cool. That's cool. I can dig that. So, I mean, there's things that, that, that you're going to hate and you're going to love. But I, I wouldn't fucking bash a person completely. Like, because Rob, Rob Zombie didn't destroy the franchise. You know what I mean? He destroyed a movie, which was Halloween 2. The remake is good, in my opinion. It's good. And I love Rob Zombie. Anyways, I'm going to make another video after this because it's been so long. This one's a... The dope show at like 1.30 a.m. in the morning, August 26, 27 now. And uh, I just thought I'd talk about some shit uh, I can get off my mind. It's a half hour video on remakes. Probably me repeating myself so many times because I'm always stoned when I do these things. And I always fucking blah, 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 repeat my shit and go on rant. So anyways, this was a movie rant. And my next video is going to be Pimp 2. So tune in to the Dope Show. Woo -woo. Anyways, peace out. Peace and have a nice day.